Hey everybody, and welcome back. This is Matthew Boyle from LanguageCardGames.com, where we believe if you can play cards, you can learn languages. And this is the 12th episode in our Language Card Games Cafe series, where I invite you to play a virtual round of one of our games with me. In the 11th episode, we switched to a different game, Other Tongue, specifically the third edition of Other Tongue. So if you want to familiarize yourself with how this game is played, go back and start at the 11th episode. I'll put a link to this uh, to the playlist in this video. And I've already explained how the cards work, and today we're using the same cards. I just switched the decks. So you're using the deck that I had last time, and I'm using the deck that you had last time. Today I'm going to be trying to speak some words in Portuguese, but that has no bearing on you at all. You can speak whatever language you want. You can speak aloud when I prompt you to do so, or you can type your answers in the comment section. Okay, so let's get started. You can go first. You draw a card, you play the card, and you might remember the serviceman. If you can give an example of an occupation in your other tongue, you can turn any field card up or down. In this game, other tongue means your target language. So if you can say an occupation in your target language, he will let you deactivate or activate field cards. That's what turning up or down does. There's no other cards here right now, so... Um, well, I, I mean, I suppose you could turn him down, but there'd be no point in that. You'd be hurting yourself, so... Sit tight, it's my turn, and I'll play the automatons. You remember these guys? They let uh, a player say any noun, verb, or adjective in order to accumulate some points on other metal field cards. I don't have any other cards out right now, so I can't use that. I need to wait, too. This game could take a couple turns to kind of get underway because the cards work together. They function together. Your turn. You draw the wheel lock pistol. It says once during each of your turns, if you have a character and can translate a noun, verb, or adjective on another field card into another language, you must discard that field card and turn down the wheel lock pistol. So you do have a character and all you have to do is translate a noun or verb or adjective on my card and then that will allow you to shoot it with the wheel lock pistol. So let me tell you some of the nouns, verbs, and adjectives on my card. Well, I can show it to you as well up close and see if there's any you want to translate. There's example, field, cards, number, so many great words in there, even the name of the card, automatons. So can you translate any of those words into another language? If you can, that will let you discard my card, and then you have to turn down, you have to deactivate this wheel lock pistol card because that's what it says to do on this card. Now, you can use your serviceman. If you can give an example of an occupation in your target language, then you can turn any card up or down so you can reactivate this card. I'll give you a minute to try and think of an occupation. Okay, great job. And if, if you have trouble with any of these words, that, uh, categories that are coming up, you can pause the video, look them up, and maybe replay this video a little bit later to see if you can remember the words that you wanted to say. Okay, now it's back to me. Now, I'm not going to have a chance here to get started unless you mess up something over here. So maybe just for, for kicks we'll let that happen. But anyways, it's back to your turn now. And um, you've got the ideas card. And that card says, whenever ideas enters a field, 
Its player may name a new category of words. Once during their turn, any player may speak a word that belongs to that category in order to add a point to one of their cards. So you get to pick the category, okay? Maybe you pick the category uh, vehicles. Maybe you like transportation and you know a lot of different words for cars, bus, plane, train. But that means that any player during their turn can try to say a vehicle in order to earn points. So they're gonna start piggybacking on you. If you can pick a category that the other players don't really know, that's gonna help you to earn points, but not them. So this is kind of like how ideas work, right? Usually someone will have an idea and then other people later will start copying off of them. So now, Let's let's uh, let's let's take a different route because if if you um, keep using these cards effectively, my cards will always be destroyed. So that would turn out to be a pretty funny game. I would get no points at all. So let me explain some other things that might happen here. Let's say you try to use your pistol again, and you have to translate a different word on this card. In this game, you can't say. The same word more than once and you can't translate the same word more than once. You always have to use different words in this game. So let's say you picked a different word on here. Maybe you try to translate the word field, but I think you are wrong and I decide to challenge you. In this game we have challenges. So you try to translate the word field, I think you're wrong, I challenge you, we look it up, you are wrong then what you have to do is you have to pick one of your cards to destroy. Maybe you pick that ideas card. It's out of the game because you really like the how you use these and you want to keep that little combination action going. Okay? Um, and then this card would be turned down. But if you can name a job, you can turn it back up with servicemen. So can you name a different job that you haven't named before? Beautiful. Okay, you can turn that back up. Now it's my turn. I've got another automaton's card. And I will, using this automaton's card, I will say a verb. Layer, which means read, and that lets me add two points to one metal field card. And then I'll use this card, and I will say an adjective, boom, which means good, and that lets me add two points to this card. Now, it would be back to your turn. You don't have a card to draw, so your turn's over and then I don't have a card to draw, my turn's over. When there's no more cards to draw, the game's over and we tally the points. So you've got one, two points, and I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, six points. So I have won this game six to two at the last moment, but really only because I made you lose a challenge, which might not have happened <laughs> in a real game. In this particular game, if you were good with your language, it could have it could have easily been three or four or five points to zero. You would have you would have destroyed all of my little guys if you could have kept this action going. But this is what I strongly recommend if you want to play other tongue. You build a mini deck because you can see three cards against three cards. The game took about five to ten minutes. So the more cards you add, the more long and complex the game can be but you can build your own mini decks around whatever cards you think you can activate and whatever cards you think work well together. And then you're gonna have a really, really fun game. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. I didn't get to say another word that I prepared, menino, which means boy. Um, these are some European Portuguese words that I was studying today. Ler, bom, and menino. Um, but I thank you for tuning in. It's so much fun to connect with you guys in this way. And I appreciate it when you leave your comments on these videos. 
And in the next episode, the 13th episode, I will try to introduce some new Other Tongue 3 cards, but keep some of these. And in this way, I'm going to scaffold you through learning many of the Other Tongue 3 cards over the course of the next few episodes. All right, I'll see you back here in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for all your support, and I wish you the best of luck with your language learning this weekend. Bye-bye for now.